I'm super happy creating this video because this is the first time they sent me Urban Decay sent me their Naked Palette as PR so this is the PR package I received from them as you can see it looks very honeylicious so the theme is more of like warmer tones, golden tones and I think honey is the perfect word for it so when you open the box, um, you'll see the um, Urban Decay Honey Box Palette, which has Naked Honey that has 12 different shades, which ranges from matte to shimmer to metallic. So this hive of 12 exclusive golden neutrals includes classic gold, warm ambers, and rich chocolate browns, which is t overall wearable. That's it. Okay, I also wanted to do a comparison of their Naked palette now compared to the Naked palette in the past. By the way, this is not their first Naked palette. This is Naked 2 as you can see here, but this is one of my favorite Naked palettes. So I've used this a lot to the point I got so tired of the colors, shades, that I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to use it again. So I just want to make a comparison of the formula of their previous Naked palette to their current Naked palette now just to see how it differs from the past to the current. So now let's unbox Naked Honey. There you go. So this is the newest Naked Honey palette. It has a bedded Naked logo on it. So as you can see the comparison, it's totally more playful, more vibrant. This one is very neutral and I would say more like a smoky look here. This one is more of like more fun, playful look which you could create a lot of looks. You could even create smoky eye here but um, brown smoky. And this one more of like hard rock, metal, smoky. So now I'm gonna swatch it to see how it goes on to my skin. So my skin is a medium with golden undertone. What it looks like, I'm gonna start with the flyby. So this is the flyby. That's really white. Next is the sweet. Ooh. This one is more of like a beige color nude. And this one is called Swarm. Let me do that again. I'm bad at swatching, guys. So this is um Swarm. More of like golden color of nude. Next is the Amber. Now this is more of the copper side. Wow, I love this color. It's gorgeous. Now moving on to my favorite sh matte shade, the Keeper. Okay. There you go. So this Keeper is much darker than the Swarm. But it pretty much looks the same. But just much darker. Next is the Golden. Ooh. The golden looks really, really gold color. Now the honey, which is my favorite by the way, this honey shade, dang. Next is the queen. Okay, queen has more of like, like brown, green, shimmer color going on there. Next is a hive. Dang, I like it. See, the hive is kind of keeper color, but more, more darker. It's this like going on to a deep brown color. Next is the drip. I'm gonna redo that. Okay, so this is the drip. 
As you can see, it's really deep brown color. I think medium brown color. Now we have the H uh, HBIC. These are all the colors in the palette. Tell me which one is your favorite. Because mine would be this. The Keeper, the Honey, and the Hive. Now, let's compare it to the old Naked palette and see the formula if it's the same or they change it. This one is way more better now. So I'm just going to test one swatch, probably let's say the matte one. Let's de go on to this color. So this is the matte. Oh, get the snake bite. I love snake bite. Okay, so based from my swatches, nothing has changed. Urban Decay's formula is still the same, still absolutely amazing. This is the Naked 2, this is the current Naked palette. Formula is still the same, still. So I really love their um, eyeshadow primer potion. It's one of my five favorite primer potions. So I already did my foundation. I'm wearing their newest Stay Naked foundation, which is amazing, by the way. And if you haven't seen my video of my review and wear test for their newest Naked foundation, then go click the top bar right there above and it goes directly to that video and also click the link down below in my description box just to see all my current videos and some information about these products that I'm doing so now my eyelid is prep let's move on to the fun part look I kind of want to go and um, mix a lot of their matte shadows and see how it goes on. So I'm gonna go use the Swarm. This is the lightest third nude. No, not but this is the third color in the palette. So I'm gonna go put it in. Now I'm gonna apply the Keeper color. I'm gonna use. The tapered brush. Oh wow. Can you see that? I think this is perfect for really warm tones, warm skin tones. I love it. I'm obsessed with anything gold and I think this palette is just amazing is girl this is doing super super well can you see that that's the two matte colors that i blended all together and it creates this perfect harmony of golden brown color i want to go and move on to the color drip it's more of like a deep brown color I don't want to change my brush. I'm just going to keep on using this brush just to show you guys how the brush works. I'm going to add in a little bit down on my lash, uh, down on my lower lid. The more you blend, the more nicer it would look so blend 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 okay now i want to add a more and more the darkest color in the palette is the stink so i kind of want to add it and just to see how it goes and add it just the edge it blends perfectly all together it just creates this beautiful golden kind of Color. Golden brown color. 
Now let's finish it off with the golden shimmer. I'm gonna apply it just on top. Oh my god, look at it like this, that. Honey, and just swipe it like that. See, there's the burst of the honey color. Now I'm gonna finish my all my eye makeup and show you guys the end look. So this is the complete eye makeup look. I've used the Urban Decay's Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eyeliner and their Perversion Urban Decay's Mascara. So, as you can see, it goes on really, really well. The, the color so pigmented looks very beautiful all together when blended out all together. Now to finish off my look, I'm gonna use the newest Vice Lip Chemistry from Urban Decay. Um, this is like a more of like a lip tint, but the formula is better than lip tint, of course. I want to use the shade Love Child. It's pretty cute. It has like embedded um, V I C E onto the packaging, and this what it looks like when I swatch it on my skin. It it's very lightweight and the color is really light gives you a bit of gloss and hint of color and not really like glossy type but just like a hint of high shine shimmer see my fingertips I mean, I like to apply it using the wand and gently press the product using my fingertips like so just to make it more like even looking. It looks super natural. You could even tell I'm wearing like... It looks just like you're applying a lip balm. It's too light. doesn't have any smell on it, which is I love. So this is the overall complete look with my newest Urban Decay's Naked Honey Palette. If you have more further questions regarding about this palette, regarding about their PR list, how to be on their PR list, and all that fun stuff, make sure to subscribe first and then comment down all your questions and thoughts below. I really want to know. On my social media because I do post more content in my Instagram. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as I post a lot of reviews there before posting it on my YouTube. So please, I want to see you there and I'll see you again next time. Bye!